What's up guys, Max from MaxWorks here, and today we're gonna build a wake shaper or a wake gate uh, for the boat. Now, first things first, what is a wake gate? A wake gate is a device that basically diverts water, um, attached to the outside of the boat and diverts water around to give you a longer, smoother wave to surf behind your boat. And so I'm gonna put up a couple of graphics here um, that kind of just illustrate this concept um, but the idea is that if the back of the boat um, causes a wave that makes a point, um, by pushing the water out further along the side of the boat, you create a much longer, steeper wave because the water comes back down further on the other side. So with a wake gate, you know, uh, I'm right-footed, so I ride with my right foot in the back of the surfboard on the left side of the boat. So for me, the wake gate needs to be on the right side of the boat to make the left side of the wave longer. Um, hopefully those illustrations I put up make a little bit more sense. And so today what we're going to do is instead of spending $300 to $400 on the weight gate from one of these companies, we're going to build our own for under $40. Um, I've actually built one of these in the past and I didn't actually do very much research on it. And the thing that I made was completely worthless and I ended up losing it and the like. So today we're back to take a fresh stab at this with some actual research and some actual information. Um, and I'll take you guys through and show you guys how to build this thing. Um, all you really need is a, is a welder and a grinder, some basic hand tools. Um, and this thing is really easy to put together for less than $40 of stuff off of Amazon. Um, so let me show you the parts and then we'll get into it. This is everything you need to build your weight gate with the exception of some bar stock. I'm gonna use some material I already have uh, here at the shop, but you can buy a 10 foot piece of bar stock here locally in Austin for under $10 for an inch or, or even two inch wide bar stock. Um, so what do we have here? First of all, we've got some bolts. These are 516s, I got some washers. This was about six bucks from my local uh, Home Depot. This is an aluminum um, like window or windshield installation clamp. Basically these are little suction clamps. Um, and this is gonna be what secures everything to the boat. I actually bought two of these for about 14 bucks off Amazon and I'll have the Amazon affiliate links in the description below. This is a standard half inch cutting board. This is made out of HPDE and you can actually buy these cutting boards for cheaper than you can buy the raw material, which is weird, but these will work fine. This one is a 12 by uh, 18. We're actually gonna cut this down significantly to about a nine by 12. And the last time I used a full sheet of this and it just made a huge splashy mess. Um, and like I said, let me, uh, let me bring up on the computer uh, kind of the design that we're gonna uh, uh, work off of and I'll show you guys what I mean. So this is the Wake Surf Edge Pro Shaper 2 from Liquid Force. This is, um, one of the designs that's on the market that gets used a lot, that gets brought up in forums a lot, this is a, supposedly a pretty good product. So we're gonna try to emulate it. And so, so you can see its face is nine by 16, which is what we're gonna work towards. And it basically just has a suction cup and a mount that secures itself to this, which we're gonna make out of steel. But as you can see, this is $320 probably plus shipping. But based on, you saw the pictures earlier, this is the website that they came from. So it shows you how the wake is formed where the water converges in the middle. And what we want is we want this nice long wave right here. And this is where I, the photo that I showed you guys earlier, where basically the, it forces the water to go around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, basically cut the, the board down, cut the uh, cutting board down to this nine by 16 diameter uh, size. And then we're going to basically just build a rigid mount um, to incorporate these suction cups. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this down to nine by 16. Getting hype when I aim up. Elevating that game up. Stepping up to the competition. Only first place and that's how I'm living. I'm winning till they digging up my grave. Eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place. I was born and when I... So the next thing we need to do is disassemble this guy. And it's pretty easy. You can see there's a little C-clip right here. So the first thing you do is you just pop off that little C-clip with a screwdriver. And do it in a way that you don't lose it. 
because you're gonna need it. That can go over here. And then if you just flex this up with your thumb, you can see this gets all loose. Pull this pin out. This comes off, that comes off, this little guide plate comes off. And then right here you can see there's a spring. So we can take all this and set it all aside um, because this will allow us entry back here to drill holes in order to install um, our rails. So I'm gonna do the other one real quick as well. So now we gotta figure out how long to make our bar stock. So this thing end to end is about 12 inches. And remember we want our board to kind of face like this. We want it to flush to the deck of the boat. I want to have a little bit of space. So this is probably, I don't know, we'll make this 16 inches maybe. And then this is also um, 16 inches. So we'll make this one 12 maybe. So that way we have a nice solid triangle. Um, so 16 plus 12 is 28 inches. So we need two pieces of steel cut at 28 inches. So a little basic layout work, you can see we've got right there one point and two points and these correlate basically to spots on like right about here and right about here. Um, so I'm going to drill these for these 5 16 bolts and then we're going to basically just test fit everything on the handle and then we'll figure out where our bend point is and then bend it to the appropriate angle. So these bolts are obviously too long, we're gonna cut them down, it's not a big deal. But as you can see, that's kind of how it's mounted. Um, this allows the suction cup to go in and articulate just fine and, and not have any issues. And when we cut these down, these latches go out front and rear. And so now we just gotta pick a spot where we're gonna bend and then we can bend this. And I remember, I think we did like about 25 degrees is the, the angle that it kind of likes. Um, I'm sorry, not 25 degrees. 45 degrees or like 40 degrees is kind of the angle that it likes. Um, so that's kind of what we're gonna shoot for. And then uh, basically once it gets bent, then we can uh, add a little bit of a reinforcement gusset, not a big deal. Um, and then we're also going to uh, drill and mount the actual. All in when I show up, whole place about to blow up. Superior to that competition. I'm in first place, and that's how I'm living. I'm winning till they digging up my grave. Eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place. I was born and when I was. So now that we have the two pieces bent, I basically scribed a line in the middle, two inches down from the top, ten inches down from the top, and we're just going to drill two more holes and then transfer them onto our board. So here's kind of our semi-finished product. You guys can see we got a nice nice angle to it. If you kind of come over here and look at the uh, the online product, we maybe need a little bit more angle, just a touch more. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to need to weld some sort of reinforcement across this in order to uh, stop this from uh, flexing. A coat of paint and we're basically good to go. So let me go figure out uh, what I got laying around to make the cross pieces so they don't interfere with anything and uh, I'll catch back with you guys in a sec.
Well, there's our finished product. You can see it, you know, has a pretty good angle, matches to that pretty well. It's fully reinforced. I ended up drilling a second set of holes to slide it down a little bit, so I've got a little bit of adjustment to allow for water to bypass. And I'm stoked to try this on the boat. It's pretty easy to get to both of these latches. Um, we'll reach in from either side and we can tie a security chain around here or a rope or something to make sure this one doesn't end up uh, stuck in the lake. So with that said, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I'm gonna try this on the boat this weekend and uh, maybe I'll post an update video or some sort of boat video later on to see how this thing works. But in theory, it should work pretty well. I'm excited. As always, this is Max, Max Works, peace.